Hello and a very good evening. Welcome along to Crafters TV. Just gone six o'clock here in the UK, one o'clock Eastern. And we are uh, finishing off your Friday with a masterclass. It is all about uh, your alphabets and your word sentiments. Basically, if you're stuck for something to say as far as your crafting is concerned, this is the show for you because we've got the Say It With Style uh, with 55% off. We've got word cutting stamps and dies with a quarter off. We've got the left fold alphabet back on the show with a 30% saving. We've got slim line curve sentiment dies everyday word edibles, pop out sentiments and more uh, unbelievable deals. Also worth bearing in mind before we kick things off this evening that it is the um, five pound Friday or Fiverr Friday uh, as we call it. So if you head to the website right now, you will find loads and loads of deals uh, that you can pick up for how much? A Fiverr, £3 correct. I, what? £3.80. £3.80, Corinne. Well done for concentrating. Yeah, if you're platinum, uh, four seventy-five. some items going for, like the acrylic paint, uh, yes, acrylic paint pens, and also our um, spiral pop-out dies. There's a selection of those for £4.75, £3.80 if you're a platinum member. That is all online for you, so do have a look. Uh, but as I said, over the course of this show, <laughs> it is all about personalization it's all about finding the correct words to put on your project and um, i think you're going to absolutely love the deals that we've got you're going to absolutely love uh, the lady who is the other side of the studio who has been my uh, crafty partner in crime and also my mr miyagi today as well uh teaching me he's the guy from karate kid yeah my yoda uh, today uh, was uh, leading me through the amazing craft along a little bit earlier on. Um, it is the lovely Corinne Robinson. How are you? I'm really good, thank you. I've had my tea, I've had my cup of tea, yep. and I'm ready to go for another two hours. Ready and ready to go. And it's all Absolutely. about personalisation, isn't it? It really is. It's, it's putting those sentiments onto your cards, but actually making, for a lot of them, it's making the sentiment the main part of the card, so that focal point. So we're going to start with our word cutting dies. Uh, yeah, word. Word. Yeah, yeah, word, Ben. And look at this. This is the sort of things that you will be able to Ooh. create. Look at that. Isn't that absolutely good? You can see the with love cut into there. I'm going to show you that one in a minute. Then you've got the just to say. So we've made a stepper card. Oh, it's gone all the way through. Uh, yes, yeah. all the way through. There we go. So you just layer it up and do the two together. Mm -hmm. We've got, oops, the right way up, Ethan. There we go, my friend. Now, the great thing about these is for every word you get, you get three stamps as well. So, you, you know, you can finish them off. So, you celebrate, and then you can see you've got the pattern behind, which Love is that. beautiful. Now, you don't have to go straight across the card. How about going diagonally across the card, which yeah. I think looks equally as lovely. Another one where they've gone right through Ooh. the card, which I think is lovely. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice. Or how about, look at that. A bow-fronted card oh, yeah. with the sentiment. I have to keep this one. This one is gorgeous. This one was made by Alison, I think. And look the at shaker. that. The shaker. It's a little shaker card. I love I that. You can see. There you go. All the little shaker bits yeah. behind there. I think that looks lovely, doesn't it? And really, yeah. that's really fresh and clean and really beautiful. So we're going to make a card using this in a minute. So that's where that's our first demonstration. Fantastical. As always, we are live and interactive this uh, Friday evening. If you want to get in touch and say hello, got Superstar Susie on the socials. Jenny Barger is in saying hello from Ohio. Pammy is with us. Pammy, what a shame we didn't get you on um, earlier on. Obviously, you were due to do the craft along with us. Uh, but it's good to know that you've got your power back on. Um, you said, oh, literally two minutes ago. Well, it's good that you've made it for this show. It's nice to have you here watching. Um, Sarabi's mum says hello from Texas. Beth Malone says hello from everyone from somewhere downstate New York. A road trip, it says in bracket. You're on a road trip? It's exciting, isn't it? Um, and MSGJ Gibson says good morning from the US of A. Also, a very special hello to Lisa Brereton, who says hello from North Carolina. This is my first time seeing a live feed. Ooh. I usually lovely. miss them and watch them when they are repeated. Well, Lisa, lovely to have you here with us. Uh, and you've picked a good one. It's going to be a fun show, is this? Uh, and it is all about, as I say, these amazing dies to give you the uh, personalization that you would want. Get ahead on the web, hit the shop, the uh, show, shop the day page, and you'll see all of these deals. But these are phenomenal. Uh, Six dies and 21 stamps in total. And you've just seen a little bit of a snapshot of the kind of things that you can create with these. Um, love the fact that the sentiment is going to be the focal point of your particular project. Whether you're going to go um, horizontal whereas you've seen on some of the cards a few moments ago you can go 
vertical with these, uh, whether you decide that you're going to, uh, you know, multi-cut them and then maybe layer different colours over the um, different letters that you've got, whether you're going to do shaker cards with them. There's so many different things and of course not just with the main sentiment itself in die form but you get a selection of stamps with all of these too so you can say just to say thank you, thank you for everything you do, thank you so very much. And as we were talking about a little bit earlier on, if you're making I suppose slightly bigger cards you can actually um, cut the uh, dies in a couple of times so you can you know say just to say with love for example um, with love and great big hugs ah oh, with love from all of us with love from me to you uh, with love my friend uh, you're the best you're so special to me you mean the world to me I love as well that you showed us a few cards because obviously here you just cut it into the front but then mm. if you want to cut right the way right through, through yeah you've got the ability to do that as well uh, celebrate uh, your wonderful news it's time to celebrate your success celebrate in style uh, and then lastly in this collection it's all about the birthday so uh, wishing you a happy birthday uh, eat all the birthday cake uh, happy birthday birthday wishes are sent to you uh, great deal on this one as well it's a um, 25 percent saving uh, best ever price we've done these at as well and if you want to go on a two for it's two for 17 pounds or two for 23 dollars hello to olga who says hello from brooklyn new york um oh it's a secret i'm working says olga sorry sorry i just said that really Really loud. Um, Olga's working very hard. If the viewer at Olga's work, she's not really watching Crafters TV. Um, Chai Vixen says, hello everyone from Illinois. Uh, where are you working, Olga? Let us know. Um, Linda Ryan says, hello again, Ben, Corin, Socials, and my lovely crafty friends from Dudley, UK. <laughs> and Laurie Goodlow says, hello from Wisconsin. Julie's in from California where it's very hot. And Christine McCrone says, hi, from a sunny Derby. Uh, we are ready and raring to go, team, I think. So uh, let us get cracking with the word. We can. Cut in right. stamp and die collection. Word. <laughs> so we're going to use the just to say. So I've put the just to say. I've just been putting it on nice and straight on my card. So I don't want this to go all the way through. So I'm going to open out my card before I um, cut it. So I'm going to pop it onto my um, plate like that. Now these really do come together very quickly. What I'm actually going to do is I'm not going to put my magnetic shim in here. I'm going to do this without my magnetic shim. The Gemini, there is so much power in this machine and I really don't want the front of the card to be squashed. And because what I'm actually cutting is really, really simple. Mm. So I'm doing an intricate diet, obviously have to put the uh, magnetic shim in. But I'm hoping that this has cut through. Oh, it's not, not quite gone all quite. the way. Come on, let's try it one more time. Probably because I'm going that way around the card. Let's see, let's just do it. Let's just do it with the larger plate because then I can go straight. I can put it... No, no, I can't put it that way. No, it makes no difference. I was thinking, could I put it up and down? I could actually do it with a metal shim, but let's just see. Let's try one more time without okay. my magnetic plate. Just to go, because it's going right across the middle. If I was going up and down, I probably could have got away with it. There was me thinking I was being really clever. It never works like that, does it? No. It never does. Has it gone through? Nearly through, hmm. nearly through. I'm going to have to put the magnetic shim in. I was trying not to because the pressure is... It'll just increase the pressure just that little bit more. But um, you'll be fine, be well, fine. While you're cutting, a few more hellos. Um, hi, Meredith says, good afternoon from a steamy Florida. Uh, Yolanda Rivera says, hello from Florida. How hot is it in Florida? It's warm in um, California, apparently. 40 degrees is it in <gasps> California. It's warm here today, to be fair. I'm sure Johnny was saying it's about 20 degrees uh, a little bit earlier. Can I just say as well, massive thank you to everyone who commented on my um, Facebook page a little bit earlier on. Lots of uh, lovely messages coming in about the, um, the box I made with Corin on the uh, Craft Along. Um, I was a little bit tardy with it, a little bit slow, but we got there in the end. You can see the finished project on my page. And Lisa Brereton on YouTube says, wow, everyone is so nice. I can't believe he, that's me, Ben. He read my comment live. I feel famous now. Well, you are famous because you've been mentioned on uh, Crafters TV and this is what we do each and every day, Lisa. Uh, we're here to relate your messages. We're here to answer your questions. We're here to have a bit of a laugh, have a bit of fun. And we do a bit of crafting along the way as well. So um, it is all good. Uh, pick up these deals too. Like I say, loads to be getting uh, stuck into tonight. And thank you, Susie. Yes, the hashtag clunky crafter was in full effect um, this afternoon. We did all right though, Corinne. We, we did on the craft really, along. really well, didn't we? Right, we no, did. I've put 
put the extra shim in and that's cut it beautifully. It's not actually marked my card base at all. Okay. I'm just trying to be a little bit clever. So there we go. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Now you could cut this again if you wanted to, to get um, to get a cover, you know, to put the cover colour over, or you can just leave it as it is. All I'm doing is I can just feel a little bit of the tape. I'm just wiping that off. I often keep my little sticky pickup tool so we've got that on there all i'm going to do now is i've got a green piece of card and i'm going to pop that on the inside so that's going to so when you put that can you see how fresh and clean does yeah. that look it looks really really lovely so we can then pop that on there all the way around nice and easy to do there we are and put that in there just for anybody asking this card is five and three quarters by six so i can you can just see so it's quarter of an inch slimmer than it is tall just because it just worked really well that way so we can then put the same green top and bottom yep just cut the pieces just the right size to fit in those gaps it's 91 just degrees in daytona beach says cindy oh what's That's that in almost 38 38 wow that's as hot as it's ever got in England, isn't it? Like, probably, yeah. It is. 38 degrees. It was probably about five, six years ago now. I remember it was like at Heathrow Airport or somewhere. It was like the highest temperature we've ever had. Wow. 38 degrees. How do you even cope with that? It's a different type of heat, though, isn't it? It's is not it? like we get it here what in England. What do you England. mean it's a different type of heat? It's different humidity. Ah. When we get it in England, it's very different to when you get it in some other countries. Mm. It'll still feel hot, yeah. but it can sometimes feel more manageable because the humidity is different. Oh. Yeah. So there we go. I'm now just using for my be beautiful pads. Yeah, it, you get a different humidity. So yeah, I'm sure it still feels absolutely scorching and you'll feel it on your skin, but it won't feel like 38 degrees when we're here. About 27, 28 degrees is about as much as I can cope with. You know, when you go on holiday, if it gets any hotter than that, it's almost unbearable, I, I think, but... I'm just going to swap these round if I can, because I think that one is just slightly... Oh, no, I need that bit. All right, that piece is just... Come on, that's what I'm trying to do. There we go. I think that one's going to fit on there. Yes, a little bit better. Let's just move these the other way around there we go i love these tape pens because you get time yeah you do get a bit time you to little move them bit around of wiggle room they're just slightly it's very slightly different in size so let's try there that's the other better. thing sorry just thinking about 38 degrees if you're in florida there's more swimming pools around there aren't there yeah than there are in newton acliffe yeah everybody's got a swimming pool haven't they or near enough I'd, uh, yeah i think most people have haven't they yeah. Let us know. Any if they've not Floridians. got their own swimming pool, they've probably got access to a swimming yeah, pool. Yeah, I know someone who has. Yeah. Mm. Now, you see, this is the card nearly done. So we have got this like that. So we've got our... Oops, it slips on the glass mat every time. So we've got the just to say. So all I need to do then is add in my stamp sentiment, which is just going on here. So we can then put that on just there. And then from... The Gemini Elements, the butterfly die. I've got a lovely little butterfly. Let's just go, I can do this with a tape head straight down the middle. I can just give it a little bit of a lift. Some gorgeous yellow card. And we can pop that on to there. And then mm. we have a beautiful card. I mean, how quick and easy was that? Sorry, oh, super quick. I'll put it back a little bit so you can see. There you go. I was just doing it so it didn't slip on the mat. But I mean, how fantastic. It looks so fresh and clean, doesn't it? I really, really like that. Absolutely amazing. Super quick uh, and hopefully super easy for you guys to follow uh, at home as well. Don't forget, it's a six-piece collection that you're going to get. Well, I say six pieces, it's actually six dies. Uh, and you get 21 stamps included as well and a whole range of different sentiments for you. So you, you're covering off uh, a lot of different card projects um, right throughout the year. So you've got thank you in there. You've got just to say. And don't forget, you've got those stamps there as well to be able to build up your sentiments even further. With love with great big hugs from all of us from me to you then you've got my friend uh, you mean the world to me you're the best my friend you're so special to me my friend then you've got celebrate your wonderful news celebrate it's time to celebrate your success celebrate in style uh, and then you've got birthday of course wouldn't be a couple <coughs> without some birthday wishes bless you wishing you a happy birthday uh, welcome 
Um, eat all the cake. Happy birthday and birthday wishes are sent to you. 3596 4662. Uh, good afternoon from Sully, Florida. Says for holidays designs. Jessica Stricker is with us from Southern oh. Illinois. And uh, Gilmer says Florida heat is humid. I think anywhere near water is going to be humid. I don't feel. I d oh, I don't like heat. Gilmore says we've been running away from it all my life, and now I need to move to the North Pole. <laughs> and it's cold. Well, I yeah, that's a really good point, actually, Johnny. If you want cold, this is a southerner who's moved up north. Come and move here. They get their shorts on when it's like 10 degrees around here. They think 10 degrees is tropical. Seriously, um, Florida is humid, says Linda. And Laura Gray says in Florida, oh yeah, everyone has air conditioning which obviously we don't really do here, do we? Central heating is all we need here. Uh, <laughs> Four holidays design says, Ben, it's 88 degrees in South Florida, that's 31. And Brenda Grote says, going to be warm in Phoenix today. Phoenix is Arizona, isn't it? That's like desert, isn't it? Uh, 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 oh, are you joking me, Brenda? Have a guess how hot it's gonna be in Phoenix. 45 degrees. <gasps> oh! That yes. is 113 degrees Fahrenheit. I think if I stepped out in that, I would literally just like turn to like, just, like, just disintegrate. <laughs> yeah. 45 degrees. Ouchie. Ouchie. Um, and we think it's warm here, about 19, 20 degrees today. Uh, let's show you the uh, quick dry ink pads that we've got on the show. So these perfect if you like to um, layer up your colours, if you need to um, stamp a quick uh, crisp clean image then your quick dries are the ones to go for and we've popped together actually a lovely selection of these for you so um, you're gonna get uh, 10 in total which are your fuchsia your baby blue do, 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 do. you've also got your Chinese red <laughs> you've got your uh, jet black you've got your parakeet parakeet do, 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 do. See your brown do 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 <laughs> Johnny. Uh, you got your pine tree, you got your smoked emerald, misty morning, which we used earlier, didn't we? But that was in the in the craft along. Mm. Was that in the water reactives or was it in the wasn't in the quick dries? Water reactives. Oh no, it was in the opaque. Opaques, one of the three. Uh, and then you got your orange in there as well. So you've got um, ten colours. Uh, normally what 60 pounds 90 dollars 37.59 today or 56.79 if you are a uh, platinum member right bless you corin says mary pat by the way thank you um lisa says i really like these dies i'm tempted to buy them i think you should lisa i think you should absolutely jump in and um grab some of these deals the say it with style is amazing 55% off here. So this was the price that we launched um, these when we did them at the back of uh, back end of May, 23rd of May. Um, it's 125 elements that you're going to receive here. It, they all come beautifully boxed up for you. It's beautifully presented. Uh, and you're also going to get your uh, binder to keep everything in. Because basically what this is, is a fantastic system that allows you to create uh, tags and banners and... Um, uh, little scrolls I suppose for all sorts of different occasions because you've got lots of different die shapes that work beautifully with the stamps that you're going to get um, to create stamps and dies uh, for all occasions or cut out images I should say so look here is a bit of a sample of the kind of thing that you're going to be creating and it shows you uh, just some of the different shapes that you're able to cut and it's really really simple to use because uh, what you've got, as I say, all these different shapes, some of them have a little um, pre-cut holes in so you can thread ribbon through or some of your twine, you know, uh, thinner ribbon, thicker ribbon. So if you're thinking about using these maybe on um, boxes, maybe you want to um, you know, wrap these around presents, you've got the ability to do that as well. But the clever thing about this is, is you get two die panels like so. So this one here is more of your um, scrolls, if you like. And you can see that they've, they've got little crosses on them which are important. You've then got your second die panel here, which is more of those sort of uh, little tags. These are the ones as well that will cut you holes to be able to thread your ribbon or twine through. And then you get the stamps included as well. And can you see, it is just literally a case of lining up your uh, die panels with the stamps because you actually get the crosses on the stamps as well. That's one big stamp, right? So you uh, stamp it up, you die cut it out and then you get all of these die cut pieces in 
one pass, which is so, so simple to do. Um, you know, if you decide that you only want to use, say, three or four of these, you don't have to stamp them all up each and every time, but you'll still get lots of different uh, shapes to be able to then stamp at a later date. But the whole point here is you've got um, sentiments for all sorts of different occasions. Birthdays are in here, anniversaries are in here, uh, retirement is in here, we've got Christmas in here as well. All of the cardstock you're seeing too, if you're loving that, you're going to get 50 sheets of that cardstock included within this collection. You've got um, baker's twine in here, you've got ribbon included too, you've got uh, card blanks and envelopes, um, and of course, uh, you're going to receive all of the stamps. There's 176, I think, from memory, um, different stamps in total. Christmas included as well. There's not as many Christmas sentiments as there are um, others, but certainly plenty in there to get you going. There's um, stuff for pretty much all of the members of your family as well, you know, um, for the boys, for the girls, for the mums and dads, uh, the granddads and um, grandmas as well. And there's lots of sort of generic um, sentiments in there too. So if you are somebody perhaps who's uh, always stuck for words, doesn't know what to actually put on a particular project, or indeed if you're someone who is um, you know, a batch maker, maybe you're making lots of cards all in one go and you just want to be able to have uh, lots of sentiments to hand cut out on lots of beautiful uh, different tags, then this really is a brilliant collection to go for. And I truly think that uh, once you've got it, you'll have it by the side of your craft desk to use at all times. All of the stamps, all of the card stock, you've got the two die uh, panels there as well. You're gonna get your folder to store it all in. You've got your dividers in there too. Plus you're gonna get a magnetic um, panel in there to store your uh, dies on. And you've got pockets as well. So um, whether or not you want to um, store some of the tags in there that you've cut out that you're not using. And also the little dies, I say little dies, the big dies will also go into those pockets too. So you can store those that way if you don't wanna put them on the magnetic uh, magnetic panel. It's a brilliant system. And as I say, 55% off was the launch price. That's the price that you can pay today. £75.99 is the UK price. We've also got the deal for you in the US. Really busy here in the UK this evening. Uh, and similarly, in the US, you can pick up this deal as well with a 55% saving once again. So if you've missed out on these previously, it's a good night to pick them up. $91.96 is your platinum price. If you're new to us, of course, as well, don't forget, uh, you can go to the website just here, uh, hit the Club Inspire tab, and you can join up in the club all we need is your uh, email address your name you create a password and you get 20 percent off your first order as well and this really would be a fantastic first order because well i mean you've got pretty much all occasions uh, catered for and you can cut a load in one go can't you, you certainly can i was just thinking when you were saying about batch making you know when we batch make you sometimes think oh, all the cards are going to be the same yeah you could actually take one of the sheets and you could batch make but have a different sentiment on each one yeah so that you you know so that your batch making is not quite everything the same exactly so as ben was saying you've got your folder so my um i've got my magnetic sheets in mine my dies just fit on the front of there and then they're there ready to go and as he said they're all divided birthday time to celebrate and we're going to use that just to say now when i'm looking when i sometimes look i don't see what they say i often take my die and just put it over because i can then isolate them because i was looking for this um a bouquet of good wishes which yeah. is here and i couldn't see it i went through it three times i knew it was in there because i've used it but i <laughs> couldn't see it but if you lay your dies over first of all i knew it was that shape but then when i put it over it meant i could see them it, so just sometimes i use my die for finding so they're lovely big dies let me just do that and then move that out of the way so i have got a basically as big a piece of card as I can get onto my stamping platform and then I'm going to just pop this on to here and like Ben said you don't actually have to stamp them all up no you still need your larger platform but what you can do is pick them up like that and they pick up absolutely gorgeous I don't think you're gonna be able to use your rocker block or anything like no. that because it's, it's just too um, they're too big if I wanted to I could come in with my ink so we're doing um, a bouquet of good wishes which is obviously I can't see it again now is it that one I think no it, yeah one, I think it is the one you've got a finger on isn't it is it that one I think it let me just turn was. it round where is it it's that one yes gosh reading upside down and back to front I yeah. couldn't read it if you wanted to all you'd need to do is just go in with 
that, you know, you could ink up just like that and just have that much card underneath. Yes. You know, you can isolate them. I'll, I'll ink up a few. I'm not necessarily going to ink up them all. I'm sure as well, it was Pam who said if you've got the... Um, obviously, you can, you can pass one die through at a time, right? But if you've got the Pro, I'm sure Pam was saying if you were to do, like, two lots in one go... Of course, you, you would be able well. to, yes. I never yeah. thought of that. So even even more yeah. cuts in one go. So I can then... I'm just trying to make... I've, I've inked up them all because what I was trying to do is make sure I inked up my crosses. Now, if I was only doing one, the crosses really probably wouldn't be as important because I could just line up the die over the one that I wanted. But, some, you know, if you're trying to line up lots of sentiment, you're going to go, oh, that one's lined up. Oh, that one's not lined up anymore. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. by having those crosses... I think it's an ingenious way of doing it. I don't think I would have thought of that just to to have done it. But, you know, they've been, all the stamps are so cleverly placed onto the stamp pads that, you know, you've got this... They will fit into the dies regardless of which one they are. So I've stamped up... Oh, ooh, just a minute. That one might not be inked up enough. I, as long as I get this one, as long as I get that one... Is that, is that right? It must be. I kept looking. It just looks so different upside down and back to front. It really does. So then I can turn it over. I can pop it in my stamping platform and I can press it down. So I'm going to make sure. Definitely got that one. Pop that through there. And like you say, you've got those little wallets inside the folder. Yep. So any that you don't need today will then save for another day. So let's make sure my bouquet of good wishes is done. Let's see if we can get them all to stamp. There we go. There we are. Not sure if I've got them all, but as long as I've got my bouquet of good wishes, perfect. Look, they're all stamped beautifully. So all we need to do now is slide that off. Hello, Ben. And then I'm going to bring it over. So obviously I need my larger platform. And then I'm just going to pop this on and all... Let's try it the other way up. Pop this on. Yes. Line up the X's. X's. X marks the spot. There you go, you can see. Arr. As long as I've got those lined up, yep. then that will be brilliant. And you'd actually, if I trim this cardstock down, it would go through a smaller one, wouldn't it? It would go, you could probably get it onto your A5 plates, I would have thought. Uh, yeah. Let me just make sure I'm lined up. There we go. Rose just said, I love that you can stamp one at a time and then be ready to go for several cards. You're absolutely yeah. right. That's what it's all That's about. That's it. And, you know, they've given you the wallets to pop them all in. So in that goes through there. In it goes. And the other thing is, you can then, using these dies, you could um, put through coloured cards, which is what we're going to, we've got now, and make matte layers behind. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Ooh, Bear okay. in mind, it's the same size. Yeah. So look at this. Look. Yeah. Woo -hoo. All of those. What have I got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. In one pass. 17 sentiment tags in one go. And like you say, some have got little ribbon bits on. The one we're going to use has got, again, ribbons or brads. But look at that. All of those now are perfectly ready. Like you say, if you're batch making, if you want more than one sentiment on a card, they're all there. So I've got all of those ready to go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put that to one side for a minute. We're going to use our pretty foliage from the dies that we launched yesterday. Oh, yeah. These are gorgeous. So I need... I had a... Any piece of part of that is. So let's just go with my small plates for speed. We can do that. Pop those down there. So I'm going to take that onto there. And then I'm going to pop these on here. Let's pop. Now these can be embossed as well as stamped. So really, really versatile dies. Pop that on there. I'm just going to put a couple of little bits of tape on so they don't slip and slide about. Let's pop that one just like that. And then we can pop that one just like that. And then those will pop through. So these are good. You see, you know, we've got those beautiful, beautiful flowers and we might be able, if we have time, we can do a card with just the flowers. But I wanted to show you how we can uh, use this foliage as well. So, mm. you know, look at all the collections that you have and bring them together. So we can pop these out. There we go. Again, as I said, you can emboss them, but we're not going to do that today. 
pop that through there. There we are, and pop that. There we are, let's pop those. I'm going to do one more, see if I can, see if we can get, let's see if we, if we can get another set through. There we one. These are really busy tonight, Corinne. Uh, the Johnny flowers. Telling me. The, um, no, the, the, the say it was style. Oh, the say it was really, style. Really, really busy tonight, yeah. I'm not surprised because it's just an amazing system, isn't it? Um, you know, and, and it's just going to enhance everything else that you've got. It yeah. really, really is. Let's see if we can get those on. Let's switch those around. I've got plenty more cards. So I don't know why I'm struggling to get them all onto a little piece of card. So I've got more card than I know what to do with back <laughs> here. But sometimes you do, don't you? Put that one on there. Then we go, we can pop. Do you want the, um, the flower dies that Corinne's using? You do get the foliage. You also get the dandelion, the charming floral, and the dainty daisy. Um, dainty Daisy, yep. Dainty Daisy, should remember that, since it's my daughter's name. Um, you can grab them right now, they launched yesterday. That's the price, 1759, 22 HG platinum. Uh, crazy, hundreds and hundreds of these sold yesterday. Um, I'll show you all the designs. And in you just can do some second. amazing techniques with them. Oh right? yeah, absolutely. What we said yesterday, you probably did seven or eight diff like, different demos. Yeah. And what, I, what I mean by that is like different techniques with them. Yeah. So they're uber useful. They really are. So just poking the, popping these out so that we can then add these to our project. And I'm just keeping them white. Now you could be cutting these out of coloured card, you could be inking these up. There's so many different techniques with these, but we're just gonna cut, keep those white for now. And I've got my bouquet of good wishes. So with, what I'm going to do is, as I was saying, I use the dies to then cut um, the tags. Now you don't need to cut all of the tags if you don't want to. What you can do is, so I'm using this one here. If you wanted to, you could, I could have just put this piece of cardstock under there and that would have just cut me out the matte layers for two of them. So you don't have to cut out a whole sheet of tags. I've just cut out um, the one. So I've got it here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to cut that in half that way. There we go. I'm going to turn this over. I'm going to put a bit, bit of tape on either side and we're going to create a little bit of a drop shadow just like that and then up at the top like that now the other way you can create a drop shadow is if you take your cardstock and i've got another one of those cut out here i can take my die what you can do is turn your die over just in case it's not symmetrical you can pop it onto your cardstock like that, draw around just like that. Oops. Uh, okay. There, mm -hmm. put that back in place and move that. It goes back in just like that. There we go. Draw that. I always draw it on the back. There we go. And then cut it, follow that pattern, but just cut it just, can you see, just like a millimetre away from the line. Depends how confident you are cutting. So that's another way to create the matte layer if that's what you wanted to do. So you could just cut it just like that. But you can do that with any die really. Just all the way, all the way around. Just, oop. I tend to go around and then go and neaten it up afterwards. I just want to quickly show you just and the more you do this sort of fussy cutting, the neater and the better you will get at it. Yeah. This is very quick. It's all about using the bit where the blades like intersect, isn't it? Because like, yeah. if you know it, well, everyone is noticing because they're watching you, but you're not snipping as such. You're no. just holding the blades no. open and just... So what you would do, scissors. tidy that up, but you can see that now fits as a matte layer. Yeah. See, just behind there. Perfect. Really, really easy to do. It's, it, it's entirely up to you which way you do it. But I've just done this that way what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop actually I won't do that I've got some I've got a couple of little brads so I'm going to get my brads and I'm going to go through here and then flatten out my brads so if you haven't got brads you could just put um, a little uh, oh what's the word a little you know a pearl on there to make it look like a brad yeah come on I had two there oh. it is. <laughs> I knew I had to. We can put that on there. Put that one on there. Just curl the ends around. Put that round. There we go. 
there. Oh, I've got put that round. There we are. Right. So I've got lovely little tag with my brads in. So I've then got some cardstock. So this is from our Everyday Inspirations paper and card. So I've taken that. And what I've done is I've cut my stitch Moroccan tile out as well. So just use, you know, nesting dies that you have. And just to save cardstock, we've cut it out of the centre. We often do that just to, you know, save on cardstock. When you're making as many as we sometimes do, you sometimes need to do that. Mm. So that's going to go on there. Then I'm going to go in with the pink. And we're going to just mat and layer that. And that's going to go just there. Also helps Ooh. to keep the weight of your card down, doesn't it, as well? Yeah. If you're, you're not adding excess. Isn't and it, then I'm coming in with my white stick. It's gone a bit wonky, hasn't it? That? That, yeah. Those are the waste pieces cut out. They're going to be cut. They're going to be cu covered uh, up. Oh, I, I got you. Sorry. <laughs> I, all of a sudden, I was just like, oh. Look, it's gone. Yeah. Oh, you covered it up with, thank goodness for that. Because <laughs> they're here. There they are. There's a piece. Oh. It was these that are. Sorry, I was, just, I was just reading a few comments and I looked up. I was like, oh no, she's, like, oh, she's stuck it on wrong. Oh, she's not noticed. Yeah, what an amateur. Oh, dear. <laughs> she's got her dress on inside out. They just said, oh no. Yeah. No, don't worry. Well, they're going in the gallery, one craft along, and he thinks he's an expert. Well, yeah. So, I was, <laughs> what more can I say? <laughs> I was literally just reading a few comments. And I looked up and I was like, ah! Oh. <laughs> but yeah, it's fine. It's all good. It's all good. But thank you for thinking of me, Ben. I really do you appreciate are welcome. it. You know I've got your back. I'd never you let you. Have. I'd never, never let, let you wear your clothes. Never let, <laughs> never, never, never let you wear your clothes inside out. Oh dear. Right, so I'm gonna pop this into the center of my card. <laughs> You're too funny. And then I'm gonna grab, <laughs> put some um glue gel on oh and the great thing about doing glue gel like this is you've got plenty of time so this is good to I'm going to pop that at the side so what we're going to do is I should have done my glue gel a little <coughs> bit higher there we go lots of people laughing at my little uh, faux pas there always on the ball me always on the yep. ball it does show I care Johnny it does show I care it does look at these don't they look beautiful just the white contrast is uh, absolutely gorgeous. I yeah. do think these are pretty. Just so, so simple floral elements. Let's just pop that one, come out here. I can make absolutely beautiful display. So we can put a little bit more glue gel on the back of there. And that's going to go capture those. And then- Quite like that with the brads in, because my mind always goes to think, oh, you've got to put ribbon or some twine or something through, but the brads yeah. work equally as well. They actually, do, don't they? they? So I've not put all the leaves on until the before the the tag's gone on because then it gives me time to to look and you know to add in a little bit more if I wanted to. So we can pop those. Doesn't that look so pretty? So the last little bit I'm going to do is I've got four little gems just to put at the corners, just like that put the back on my glue and i've got four little gems just here that i can then add just there and then we can pop these on very pretty it is pretty isn't it yeah and it just shows you how you know we bring out different collections at different times but if you've got them have a look around at what you've got and see what's going to work with what you know what i mean you've probably got so much in your crafty stash but it's nice to think that everything works together just like that. That's gorgeous, isn't it? That is Very absolutely pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. Using elements, of course, from the Say It With style and uh, using, obviously, elements from yesterday's launch as well. Yes, producer Johnny, um, Corin's demos today, not just today, but yesterday as well, have been absolutely uh, bang on. They've been Thank amazing. You. They've been awesome. 
They, they have been great. Um, so pretty, says our Susie. Um, and Susie says, I had clear sparkle pen to the white bits as well. Oh, yes, that'd be nice. Nice little, nice little thing to do. Um, Rose Dan just saying, all right. Rose Dan just saying, I, lo <laughs> I love the brat idea. Uh, <laughs> you say white bits and they're in stitches in the gallery. Yeah, mm. I mean, it's just... It's Johnny, he's like being at school. It was Charlotte that said that, miss. It was Charlotte that said that. Uh, very busy, says, uh, very busy, very lovely, says Miss Jack, uh, 1003. And uh, <coughs> Rhoda's also saying um, how much she loves the Say It With Style collection as well. Uh, a few more hellos before we wrap all this up. Seriously, it's all going off in my ear. Um, BJ Clark says, still a rainy day in Washington. My husband and the girls went to Portland for the weekend so I can rest. Uh, before he left, he said, don't buy anything. He thinks I'm a hoarder now as well. And he thinks you're not going to buy something too, which is even <laughs> more uh, hilarious. Kathy says, I love this set. And uh, Lynn saying, what a pretty card, Corinne. Absolutely gorgeous. That's to say it with style. Uh, you're getting so much. I'll tell you what you're getting very quickly. I'll read it off here because you're getting um, all of your stamps. Uh, cuts 39, your dice cut 39 banner and label shapes. You've got 176 sentiments as far as uh, your stamps are concerned. You're going to get card, uh, pastel colored card, 50 lots. You're getting one of your project pocket wallets. You're getting a magnetic die panel. You're getting two die storage wallets. You're getting five meters of satin ribbon, 10 meters of baker's twine, 25 card blanks, 25 envelopes, five stamp panels and of course you're getting your binder as well if that isn't value for money well i don't know what is uh, 55 percent saving is still relevant for you that's what we uh, did the launch at that is still the price right now grab it whilst you can um we'll recap as well for you in just a little while on yesterday's launch because if you want to grab those uh, flowers the foliage that corin was using we've got that uh, and we've also got loads more great deals to show you too but uh, we are going to have a uh, little bit of a break right now. We'll just get uh, everybody to get it all out of their systems and uh, we'll come back more sensible. Uh, well, if you believe that, you believe anything. Um, we'll come back in just a few moments' time. Welcome to Club Inspire the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Quick buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. Achieve crisp, precise, and perfect die cutting results every time with the Gemini Accessories Plastic Shim. The idea behind the plastic shim is that it creates a thicker plate combination, offering an even more precise die cutting result with each pass. Simply pop a plastic shim between your cutting plates and then roll through your Gemini die cutting machine and voila, an amazing precise cut every time. Plastic shims work really well with detailed or thin metal dies. So if intricate cutting is your thing, then the Gemini Accessories Plastic Shim is your best friend. Quick buy, get yours now. Quick buy. All your crafty must-haves in a flash. Make light work of intricate and delicate die-cutting designs with the Pokey Tool from Crafter's Companion. An absolute essential part of any paper crafter's kit, its precise tip has been designed to release the tiniest pieces to reveal your finished results with absolute precision. And to make sure your finished project is perfect, each Pokey Tool has a rubber tip protector, so there's no risk of damaging your die-cutting design or yourself. The Crafter's Companion Pokey Tool is such an essential craft item, we've included two in each set. Quick buy, get yours now.
had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our Gold and Platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new Express 3-7 to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Uh, thank you for all the lovely comments coming through. Lots of you watching this evening, which is marvellous. Uh, lots of love for that last card as well from the likes of Lynn and um, Irina. Natty saying good afternoon, everyone, from the Finger Lakes area of New York. Uh, pretty card, Corin. was a pretty card. Lots of pretty cards. You'll get to vote on all the pretty cards uh, a little bit later. Um, and Nee Connie says, I'm popping in to say hi and hello to lovely Corin. Marvellous Ben. Amazing Johnny. He said, yep, yeah, thank you. Sh uh, charming Charlotte. Charlotte went, ah. <laughs> Just like that. She literally, made, no, she made, literally made that noise in a nice way. Uh, and superstar Susie. I had to say at least hi. Uh, sorry, I had to say hi at least this time. I'm on the road to go camping in Jane's Island. Where's that? It sounds amazing. Jane's Island. Well, have a great time. The mm. Finger Lakes area of New York sounds interesting as well. <laughs> Johnny just said, um, yeah, well, yeah, they look like fingers and the lakes. That's what he just said. That's probably why they're called Finger Lakes, isn't it? We've got finger ponds by us because they look like fingers. <gasps> what? What? <laughs> You've got finger ponds? Yeah. Are they don't... actually called the finger ponds? Yeah, they're called the finger ponds because they look like fingers. Well, so you can go to... Nottingham and see the finger ponds. Well, it's just somewhere my husband goes fishing, but ah. probably it's not really a, it's not a tourist thing. No. no, doesn't sound as good as the Finger Lakes, does it? No, it doesn't. No, finger no. ponds. Finger ponds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on. What? What are you saying? Erin, producer Erin is 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 moving back to the states soon. She's moving to Albany. Is that near to the Finger Lakes? The guys are asking in the gallery. Um, I mean, America's a big, big place. What I didn't realise, sorry, we're going off track here, because when Erin said she was moving back to the States and she was going to go and live in New York, I thought she meant, like, New York. York. But she's, like, because it's New York, New York, isn't it? Yeah. Like, New York, New York. Yeah. She's in Albany, she's going to move to Albany, which is three hours from New York. City. New York City. Yeah. Manhattan. I didn't, I just, it blows my mind how big America is. Yeah. Because if you think it's New York, how can you be in the one... Uh, you don't call them counties, you call them states, and, and then still be three hours of what I just... Because the states are so big. But I know. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Just... Anyway. Are the Finger Lakes near Albany? And are they better than the Finger Ponds in Nottingham? That's the big... <laughs> I the big are. question. Might just be a bit better. <laughs> um, very, very... I'm going to Google that in a minute. Um, very quickly, just going to show you the Flower Dyes collection. So these were the ones that we launched yesterday. If you're on a bit of a budget today and you're looking for a really craftable uh, set of dyes, then go for these. And I would also urge you to go back and watch yesterday's shows with Corinne because she did at least seven, possibly eight, completely different demos. And what I mean by that is different techniques, different ways of using these dyes uh, to create fantastic results every time. And what I loved is, because I still remember the first one that you did where you used... Yeah, it was that one there, the Charming Floral. It's up on the side up there, isn't it? On the end. Yes. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> just, just a minute, just a minute. Yeah, just... Just a minute. They might seem with slippers if I come over. Stretching. There you go. <laughs> You got it. Yeah, thank you. Um, so it was, it was that one there, and that was literally creating like a little background, wasn't it, with your, with yep. your um, water water reactives? Water then, reactives on some watercolour card. Plonking the um, flowers on. And then cutting to them out. all the colours and cutting them out. Gorgeous. And then you did um, more demos, didn't you, where you created like bigger bouquets yep. of the flowers. Um, so many different things. 
Um, but yeah, you're going to get uh, 14 dies in total. That one there is called your Dainty Daisy. You've then also got the uh, beautiful Dreamy Dandelion. Which a lot I think of that's a favourite with a lot of people, that it one. It is, because it's different. And we, mm. uh, you know, we see a lot of... Roses, and, roses and, and peonies. Carnations and, and things, but not many dandelions. So that one proved popular. And then, of course, the foliage that um, Corin used in the last demo is also included in this set, which you'll obviously use in conjunction with all of the other dyes there. So it's 1759, 2280 uh, is the deal if you want to pick that one up. Same deal as we had yesterday on launch, the 20% saving. Also on the show, talking about personalization, you absolutely, if you haven't got these already, need to get them in your life. I'm talking about the uh, left field alphabet dies. Now, this deal is phenomenal because not only are we going to give you the alphabet, but you're also going to get um, your numbers as well. It's 93 elements in total. And these are cool for the fact because I think it's always nice, isn't it, to have an alphabet, to have some um, numbers within your crafty stash because then you can totally personalize. But these are clever for the fact that once you cut them in, you've got the uh, left fold which stays within the card so you can pop uh, different colour cardstock um, underneath these should you wish. Craig has these and he, I think he sometimes uses them as the left fold but he says he just likes the size of these. Mm. And he, he cuts them off the left fold and just yeah. uses them yes. you know, as is. Yeah. Um, so you've got all the letters of the alphabet. You've also got in this deal all of your numbers as well um, and you've got your uh, ampersand too so you know you're talking about being able to personalize for um, you know names for birthdays you can have any name you like uh, any birthday age you want you know we always say it's easy to go to the card shop and you know get an 18th birthday or a 21st birthday but what happens if you're making a card for someone who's 37 or 63 it's not always easy it is when you've got a set like this and then on top of that we're finishing off this collection with your stamp and die sets this one's called your joyful birthday so you can you know then really create some beautiful cards uh, with these stamps and dies as well so uh, create your bunting create your little cupcakes and what I love about this as well is that you've got uh, the ability to um, stamp in your birthday into your little bunting there as well which I think is super cute little balloons on there as well uh, and stars and hearts and then you've also got your heartfelt wishes another fabulous set if you love uh, building up layers with your uh, foliage and flowers too that one's really cute as well because you've got the die banner there which you can cut out and pop on all the different sentiments on I love the font it's a really good price for all it of that it is a great it? price I'm just trying to read this wow. upside down I think it's just a note just a note just for, just you. for you celebrate. celebrate lots of love lots of love with all my love with all my love thank you um that is a, an, a really great price 75 pounds normally 100 dollars 41 pounds 98 today or 55 98 and like you know i always say it's great isn't it to have a set like this numbers and letters yep then you can personalize to your heart's content exactly exactly because we all know not everybody's got a name that you're going to be able to pick up no. on things at all but look at you were saying about you know unusual um ages fab at 53. <laughs> i always read that one wrong <laughs> i always read that wrong <laughs> do you think you're going to say fat at 53. Fat at 53. <laughs> i always read that wrong <laughs> I'll let you save this and pass it to me on my next birthday because that's what I'll be, 53. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> fab at 53, not but fat. Maybe you just want to say, oh, I, dear. you know, really simple, but look at this yeah. so you can see, as you were saying, that it's, it's, you know, it's that kinetic energy. I love this one. Now look at this. So if you lift up the um, letters, oh yeah, I get all hot and bothered sometimes. <laughs> oh, you and me both. You can see, I don't know if you can see, it's a shaker card. Oh, where's all my shaker elements? They're all in there. Can you oh, see yeah, them? I can see them coming there they through are. now. They're That's all clever. gone behind the H now. There we go. There we are. They're all in there. It's hard to show shakers. Memory book style for your dad. Father's Day coming up uh, very soon. So how about doing something Let's like see. that? Yeah. How about for a wedding day? Look at this lovely big card. Look at that. So you, then you've got the love on there. And all of these can be personalised, something like a wedding, it can be, yeah. you know, personalised to the colour. And that's really pretty. So we're sort of swapping. So this has been done here. So we're swapping the um, plaid onto the, the, the pearlescent and then put the pearlescent on top of the plaid. So it really stands out. Yeah. And then, again, making the most of all of those stamps and dies mm -hmm. as well. Mm. And Beautiful. finally, oh, is that one? No, that's just Miri behind there. But that looks yeah. effective, doesn't it? Yeah. With the birthday boy. And again... Those will lift out if you oh, want them yeah. to. What's behind yeah. the Y? Probably the same. Silver oh, Mirror. Yeah. Uh. 
<laughs> but like you were saying, the birthday yeah. stamps in the flags perfectly. So should we have a go with one of those? Yeah, let's Ooh. um let's do it. Right. Let's Let do me just it. get those out of the way. Put those down there. Right. So I have got um, a piece of craft card. I'm going to go that way around. And what I'm going to do is it is Father's Day very soon, so let's have a go with this. So we're going to pop dad onto here. So as you can see, just to show you how these work. So when you look at these, you've got your cutting blade, but then down this side here, and that's going to cut out, but down this side here, you don't have a cutting blade. It's just a scoring blade. So it's a shallower blade all the way down there. So let's pop my D and my A. I'm going to take down my A. 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 Let's just pop that on there. And that's going to be my day. I'm just checking. Yeah, that looks like it's going to fit. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good um, measurement tip, yeah. isn't it? Pop your sensible yeah. one down Yeah, just worth first. checking. Just yeah. worth checking that you've got it roughly right. The other thing I could have done, so if that's four and a half. Well, that's not bad. I've got that, that A. Yeah, smack bang in the centre. Mm. That's That was good by eye. By yeah. eye. By eye, there we go, and then we can put that one on. So this will just have to run through twice. Right. Again, I think what I'm going to do yeah. is I'm going to try it without my magnetic shim. Okay. If I have to put my magnetic shim in, I do, but we'll um, see how it goes. Whilst you're cutting, Nee Collie says, Ben, James Island is in Maryland. Maryland, they're getting it right now. Four hour drive, so I'm chilling uh, while Superman hubby is driving and singing along to the Eagles. Yes. Ooh. The Eagles is great driving music, isn't it? I, I love that. Some great driving tunes there. What's that? What's my favourite eagle song? Oh, well, I mean, Hotel California is great, isn't it? I can say Hotel California. I also like. What's that one? Laugh in the fast lane. Oh, yeah. Oh, and the other one then. Ah, oh, you can't hide your light in eyes. Yes. But your smile is a thin disguise. What other Eagles songs were there? There were loads of great ones. Oh, there's lots, isn't there? Desperado's a good one. Oh, Desperado's good. Desperado. New Kid in Town. I don't know if I can sing that one. We could, we could do this till the end of the show, couldn't we? Right, so when these pieces have popped out, I've yeah. just kept them just here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut them out of this pattern cardstock but I'm not too concerned about the plating because we're, all we're going to do is you remember you were saying about you can cut them off the cardstock if you want so this is just about having a covering on yeah. these so this that one wasn't as important to line them up so what I need to do here is once I've got this here I can then just put some foam tape behind it to lift it let me just check this so I've got the D and the, see the D's cut out there, and the A, and I'm just gonna cut another D. And like I say, this isn't about positioning, this is just about getting them cut. Pop that one through there. Um, and we can put the dies back on our sheet. Albany is about two to four hours from New York, depending on how fast Erin wants to speed on the throughway, says uh, Pammy. And Natty says, Ben, I'm about six hours from New York City and about two hours from Albany. And again, it depends on who's driving. <laughs> um, and a message from Colin to Corey R, which says, Hello, Corin. My name is also Corin. Oh, hello. But I, I don't to, meet many of them. I answered to Corey. All oh, right. Yeah, but you're double R, one N, aren't you? I am. We were and just talking about Corin that. Corin yes. is one R, two Ns. Yes. Are you on? Are you on in the minority then? Of yes. Corin's. With one, with two R's, one two N. Two R's, one N. Yes. My dad couldn't spell. When he registered you. When he registered my birth. Right. Yes. It's nice to be individual, though, isn't it? It is. It is. You know. Yeah. I think I've met one other Corin spelt that the same way as me. Don't know how they ended up like that. Didn't ask, but mm. yes. Probably another daddy couldn't spell. Yeah. Happens a lot, doesn't it? And not just that. Like my husband was a completely different name, apparently. Yeah. But his dad went um, via the pub, and a man and a man bought him a drink, and he said, "Well, I'll name my son after you." So, ha well, he, hang on, back up a second. So, what? So, he went to the to register the birth of his son, who was say, let's call. Say, I can't remember. He Johnny. Comes, yeah. And then he met a bloke. A bloke, a bloke called Colin, who right. bought him a, a pint, drink. and he went, "Oh, it's really kind of you. I'll name a son after you." <laughs> so he left the house with his mum, thinking they had a baby called one thing, and by the time they got back, he had a baby called something completely different. Wow. I mean, that is a brave, or probably. Stupid <laughs> person. Yeah. Um, right, now, I've put foam tape on the back of there, and all I'm doing now is I'm cutting out 
the letters from the patterned cardstock. So all I'm doing is just linking up the two um, um, et cut lines. So just, and that's another good thing about having nice big scissors because you can do it in one single cut. So you, you end up a lot, lot straighter. There we go. That's going to go on there. And then all we're going to do, I'm going to grab my tweezers because it'll be the easiest way to do it. Turn that round there. Yeah, because years and years ago, the husbands often used to go and register the, the birth, didn't they? Because um, ladies used to stay in bed for a lot longer after they'd given birth than they do now. So it was quite common for the blacks. Yes. The Hang husband. on a minute. I'm getting confused as well. So you, I know I just asked you, your name is 1R. No, oh, no mine's, two two, mine's 2 r's 1N. Oh, hang on. So Corinne, so yours is 2 r's 1N. Is yeah. that what you're saying? No, yeah. no, I know yours is. Cor other Corey Corin. I think hers is, is C-O. What's your uh, Oh, you've typed, hello, Corin. My name is also Corin. But you've done hello Corin R I N N E. My name is also Corin O R R I N E. So you're both double R's. You're oh, both double R's. Yeah. One end. Oh, so yeah. th there you go. Sorry. Yes. Both double R's. This is so confusing. <laughs> I can't more people be called Ben. It's so much I, easier. <laughs> I met. I used to know a lady at work who was called Corin. Well, spelt Corin, but spelt Corin rhymes with Doreen. She used to tell me all the time. She was called Corin. It was spelled Corin. Yeah. But she used to say Corine. 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 Yeah. As in chlorine. As in rhymes with Doreen. <laughs> chlorine Doreen. No, Cor right. Corine. Oh my goodness. Craft on. <laughs> Maureen. There we go. Right, I'm gonna make a box up now. We know how to do that, don't we, Ben? They're easy. We can do Making that. Making boxes? Yeah. Doing me sleep now, Mrs. I know you can. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm an expert box maker, me. You certainly are. Um, uh, just a couple of questions coming in. There's so much random chat coming in today. I can't get my head around it. Um, That's fine. We like random chat. We do like random chat. Uh, ben says, sure, Pack. It's roughly 40 to 45 hours to drive coast to coast in America. Wow. That is redonkulous, isn't it? 40 to 45 hours. So, I mean, you wouldn't do it in one go because you've got to sleep. So, I mean, how many days would it take you? Has anyone watching driven coast to coast? If you have, yeah. How long did it take you to do it? You'd have You're to do that in a week, at least, aren't you? Mm, what could you drive a ten? It take at least, yeah, at least Monday to Friday, surely. Yeah. Stopovers. Wow. Um, right. So I've made my box base, and this is going to be my box lid. So just like we did before, we're going to decorate it up before we put it together because it just makes life so much easier. So again, I put my little L on there so that I knew which was which. Let's move these out of the way. Can I ask you a question whilst you're doing that from Annie? You certainly can. Who says, are there any secrets to perfect stamping? I've got both the rocker blocks and the magnetic, magnetic stamping platform and I continue to have a hard time getting a clean, clear, complete stamp print. Um, I mean, is there anything you can suggest? Right. now, I will be open and honest. I did not use the rocker blocks until about a week, 10 days ago. Okay. And I had a go with a rocker block and I was so impressed mm. and I've loved it and I've, do, I've even done it on shows um, because I've just thought this is brilliant. You get a lovely image. Um, I've always been a stamping platform girl, always loved my stamping platforms. Um, I think it's about just pressing down, um, holding it down and then smoothing it over. Um, Making sure, if you are using something like the stamping platform, if you're going in for a second stamp, just make sure you've got it in the right place. I always give it a little wiggle, rather than sort of dropping it down and pressing. Yeah. I always make sure I've got it in exactly the right place, so that you, when you go back down, that's why we've got like the crosses there, so you can see you've lined it up the same every single time. Um, I suppose it's just practice, but there is no secret to, to stamping, it's just have a go and yeah. keep going at it really really uh, I think that's yeah I know that's not very helpful but I I would say if you if you're starting out you'll probably find a stamping platform is the easiest I use mine for years and years and years and it, yeah. like I say I've only just started with the the rocker blocks I was looking at them and I was watching somebody else use them and they said why won't you use them I just said oh I'm just always scared that I'm not going to get the perfect impression, but actually when you roll, you can see you've got the perfect yeah. impression, and you do. 
Um, I think there's certain stamps as well which potentially lend themselves better to the rocker block as well, aren't there? Yes. Compared to maybe the stamping yeah. platform. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right, so now I've put my left fold dad on yeah. to here. So actually I didn't didn't put those up on the score line so you can see those have gone up on the score line. So what I did was the little bits that saved out of the middle, I've kept those. These are the bits out of the centre of the, um, the letters. So we can take, this is the centre of the D. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to close the D back up and I'm going to just pop that in there and then while I'm holding it so you know it's in the right place. Let's do the other D because that's going to be easier. I know this is just a little bit more fiddly and I don't often do fiddly, fiddly things. Yeah. I do, I try not to go too fiddly. It's just not my style. But just to say as well, um, Irene's asked, um, can someone please explain CC's angel policy? Um, you're good to go with us really. The, if you, if you um, check on our website, you'll see a, a full page which says about our fair usage policy. But I suppose that the general sort of rule is that as long as you're, um, you're making something, you know, you're not just, um, you know, uh, getting things and, and, and sending them on. As long as you're making something from our products, you're good to go, whether you're making, you know, to make a bit of money for yourself or potentially, you know, you're making uh, for charity, you're absolutely fine as long as you are um, producing something. Um, it, that may differ from some of our third parties that you'll find on the website, but I think the general rule of thumb, uh, particularly for Crafters Companion, as I say, is if you're making something um, yourself, to sell, you're good to go. Um, so you can't take images into um, like your, your, your electronic die cutting machines and store them mm. because you're not making something no. like that. So you've got to actually physically be yeah. be making. So they are, like you say, you're good to go then, aren't you? Yeah, and a lot of people like... do, don't they? A lot of people do yep. um, like to make and, and, and sell and, and make for charities and school fates and you know uh, you know church fairs and all that kind of thing. So it's um, it, it's a it's a great thing to do. And yeah. particularly good as well, you know, because if you're making to sell and you make a bit of money back, it's a, it's nice to fund your own crafty obsession exactly. as well, isn't it? Exactly. I think a lot of people have to um, <laughs> yeah. sell things. Well, one, because otherwise you will be, you, you'll be swamped. Yes. Because we do it for the, it's done for the love of making, isn't it? That's yeah. why people do these. And two, just because, um, like you say, it can help fund that crafty um, habit. Yeah. Right, so all I've done now is, I've, look at this, we're doing male cards tomorrow we've got a master class so i'm presenting tomorrow uh, with uh, lovely debbie robinson um, and it's all about male projects so this is abs this is a sort of thing that you know you can take into um, things like that so imagine this um being there for for your dad for like say for father's day for his birthday i mean i've done it in these sorts of papers but can you imagine doing these in your christmas papers if you've if you bought your dad just a I don't know, a small something that, you know, you thought perhaps it doesn't look that good, but you could actually wrap it up. Uh, we always used to do, when we were little, a Christmas tree present. Did you ever used to do that? Oh, someone else does that. Yes, yeah, so you have your main pre Did you do main presents in the morning? Christmas tree presents in the, the evening. Presents, oh, no, so we used to put the presents in the tree, hide oh. them actually in the tree, and then you would get those out, so you'd have, like, your uh, starter at Christmas and then your main, and then between main and pud, someone would then go to the oh, tree nice. and yes. take the presents out, and you'd have them in between that and your pudding. I think it was evening. Yeah. It was a lot of years ago that we used to do that. Just a little something. Just a little something, you know. We're talking little gifts. But I used to love that. But imagine putting, you know, your Christmas tree present mm. in something like that. It would be really lovely to do. I used to love doing those. Yeah. So I suppose it was an extension of a, a Christmas stocking in a way, isn't it? Yeah, because you'd, yeah, you'd have your sort of stocking first thing, wouldn't you, before, yeah. the, before your parents got up. Then you'd have your main presents. Before your parents got up. You're not supposed to have your stocking before your parents got up, I don't think. Weren't you? <laughs> I did. I'd always come and have a little squidge as well, you know, first thing. Just, yeah. Just, always have a little squidge, see what's what. Check out where the, uh, if, if the big present had your name on it as well, under the tree. Love I, over the years though, it didn't always mean like the biggest present was the best. No. The best thing. I remember one year my stepdad was um, working at the power station and, uh, we, and he was on shift and we had to wait till four o'clock till he got home before we could open any Christmas what? presents. That must have been torture. Oh, it, was, it was hard. It was yeah. really hard. So I've just, just adjusted my own putting these foam pads. I just don't like them there. Right, so we can then put that just 
there like that there we go and how about that for a lovely box craft card we'll say yeah. we've got craft card on a really good deal today Buy one, haven't get we? one half price yes absolutely perfect so you could be making something like that now look at that that is a craft card box and how different is that as a craft card box to the one we made in the craft along just to show you oops sorry there we go just to show you the different effects throw in that way that you can create <laughs> <You're right over laughs> <there. laughs> right. it's a bit skittish it's alive <laughs> uh yeah brilliant absolutely love that left fold alphabet again i'll just quickly quickly show you value for money wise amazing and it, and it is going to be one of those um collections that you'll come back to and use time and time again it creates that really cool left fold effect that you've just seen demonstrated but as our craig would say as well it, you know he literally has this set to um die cut these out and then he, he, he snips the letters off the left fold so he can then use them elsewhere as well all of your uh, letters of your alphabet of course all of your numbers there and your ampersand and then you've got these damp and sty set. Uh, damp and sty? <laughs> dear, oh dear. Stamp and sty. Damp and sty. <laughs> what? You're all right there. <laughs> I'm fine. Damp and sty. <laughs> I can't believe I've never said that before. It's quite funny, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, stamp wow. and die sets, not damp and sty. Uh, where you've got your uh, joyful birthday <laughs> and your heartfelt wishes included as well. In total, it's 93 elements for 41.98 platinum or 55 dollars uh, 98. Um, Thank you for the messages coming through. Lots of you loving the uh, last little project there. Adriana's saying, so nice, Corin. Such a cute box, uh, Corin. And Alison says, when my son was little, I put silly presents in the tree and he opened one a day till New Year. Oh, I'm wow. That is a really lovely idea. Um, listen, we've got some great deals currently on the website as well uh, on our machines. 10% savings um, on are very very amazing um machines now we've got different deals so we've got one deal for our us viewers which is on the junior this deal that uh, is on your screen right now is for the gemini's for our uk viewers uh, it's a 10 percent saving right now so normally 179.99 uh, you're going to save 18 pounds today so you're picking this up for 161.99 platinum is 129 pounds 59 uh, and of course um, you get all of the plates with this as well so you are good to go such a brilliant machine maybe you are um, looking for a slightly bigger machine you're upgrading from your junior potentially or maybe you're just um, you know, taking that leap into electronic die cutting uh, you've got one of our manual machines and you just want to go um, with the original Gemini and um, it's a great time to pick this one up few of you have jumped in and bought this over the last couple of days so we thought it might be quite nice to um, show you a little video right now which explains more about the features of this machine um, and when we come back from this we'll have more um, demonstrations for you but have a look at this it'll explain more about our Gemini die cutting and embossing machine here it comes this is Gemini one of the fastest quietest electronic die cutting and embossing machines on the market its industry leading high pressure system delivers fantastic results from intricate dies and folders all at the touch of a button its oversized opening and platforms provide for edge-to-edge -edge cutting of US letter and A4 size with thin metal dies, allowing you to cut materials such as thin cardstock, vinyl, craft metal and fabric. No cranking needed as it will move the plates through automatically and quickly, which means you may spend less time on preparation and more time on inspiration. The Gemini has optical switches, making it hands-free and fully automated with a built-in auto-reverse function for protection. It's easy to use, so you're always in control. Its sleek low-profile design makes it a superb addition to any craft workspace. It has built-in handholds, meaning you can easily take it anywhere. The Gemini is a universal die-cutting and embossing machine that works with the majority of all leading brands of thin metal dies and embossing folders. All of the platforms that you need come included in the box, as well as a thick rubber embossing mat for intricate detail work on your dual purpose cut and embossed dies. The addition of the metal cutting plate allows you to cut intricate dies in a single pass through the machine and enables you to cut multiple layers of fabric. For a perfect cut every time, you need Gemini, the electronic die cutting and embossing machine made by crafters for crafters. 
There you go, it's available on our website right now for our UK viewers with a 10% saving. It's the machine that you see us use day in, day out, an absolute workhorse of a machine. Um, maybe you've tried or you're using an electronic die cutting machine from another company and it is not uh, doing the job for you. Give the Gemini a go and I promise you, um, you will wonder why it's taken you so long to get one in your life. Uh, Chai Vixen says, I love the left fold alphabet dies, they're great. I would truly use them more. Oh no, but I've lost my A. Oh no! Well, yeah. I mean, I guess you still can use them, just avoid, you know, making cards for, you know, people with A's in the name. Johnny reckons if you ring customer service up, they might be able to send you an A. It's worth a phone call, isn't it? I give, they're, they're all, all separate, yeah. But obviously, you'd, you, we, we might have a spare line around somewhere. Give, give, give him a call. Said, jo, said just tell him, Johnny said. Johnny said, producer Johnny says, you might be able to help me out. See what they say. We can't promise anything. Uh, Mary Rena says, Ben, damp and sty. I know, right? Um, twisting all my words up today. Uh, Michelle Nitz for you says, I love my Gemini. The Junior was a gift. I love it. Uh, I also love the original and Mini. I love them all. Something else which you guys are loving is uh, Fiber Friday. Whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, this one is flying out the door. Uh, it's the Big Daddy um, All Purpose Yucalau Glue um, Fiver Friday. Uh, it's 250 mil, is this one. Um, five pounds today. What is it normally? Normally seven. No, yeah, seven pounds. Um, so, you know, great to stock up on this um, and you can pick it up today at that price. However, only up until midnight tonight because um, $10.95 normally uh, because you've got up until midnight and then Fiverr Friday, of course, will be over. Also, I just want to show you some other bits and pieces that we picked out from Fiverr Friday. We've got our acrylic paint markers um, on Fiverr Friday as well. Those are normally um, seven pounds 99, uh, but they are 4.75 today. Uh, Three pounds 80 if you're platinum. And another great pick, the uh, spiral pop-out dies. Uh, there's a few other ones on there as well, but I've got the heart and the balloon there. So again, uh, £3.80 platinum, you can have those for today. Normally £12.99 each. And uh, Johnny's favourite that he picked out, usually £15 or, um, uh, yeah, £15. Five pounds today on Fiverr Friday for your craft mat. So all of those deals are available right now, but if you're getting anything from Fiverr Friday, do it before midnight um, because it won't be Fiverr Friday after that. It will be Super Saturday. Right, um, I showed you a few moments ago the launch that we had yesterday, the flower dies, and we're gonna go into a little demo with these because they're still proving really, really popular. I'll quickly whiz through and show you the different designs that you're gonna get once again. Um, such a versatile set for a low, low price. And as I said, yesterday when we launched them hundreds of you jumped in um, and grabbed these and added them to your crafty stash the uh, dreamy dandelion was the one that you were all chatting about uh, and I know lots of you jumped in and grabbed that individually as well you've seen these being used right throughout the day today too that's the um, pretty foliage that you're going to get in this collection um, and then also you've got your charming florals as well. £17.59 or $22.80 for this set. Uh, and we are going to have a look at this uh, with Corinne. And I can see that she's got our uh, three favourite uh, colours lined up to get inking with. <laughs> I know. What did we say? The three colours that always come out fuchsia, parakeet, lemon tonic. Yeah. They're the three I think we turn to time and time again. So let's put some ink onto my craft mat. It's always, I always find it picks up really nicely if you pick, put it onto your craft mat but it also means you can blend it onto the the dauber so we're going to go in quite intense with our colors on here we're all about let's be bright and bold so what we've got here watercolor card absolutely perfect for this pick up my pink ink first now i'm really going to just really try and get some nice big colors on here so it's not about this isn't necessarily about blending them as such it's just about getting the colors onto our card. Let's see if I can get a bit more on. Yeah, I really want some quite strong colours yeah. on there. Let's just see. There we go. We might go back in in a minute. Then we're going to go in with our blue. Let's put on some blue. And again, we're just going to put it on. Oh, that come out nice and strong, well, didn't it? Did, it did, didn't it? Put that there. Yeah. And I'm, I'm trying, I'm, you can see I'm going in sort of circles quite deliberately just to try and get the colour laid down. Let's try that and then we can pop on a bit of the yellow. We might go back in and we might add some more colour in a minute. Don't want any white bits. 
<laughs> we can put that on there. Don't you start. <laughs> As soon as I said it, I thought, oops, uh oh, <laughs> starting that again. Put that on there. Come on. Down here. And the great thing is, is you create other colours as well, which is lovely. So I'm this, this time, when I've done it before, I've sort of done a bit more blending. But this time, I'm sort of trying just to get some nice sort of colour blotch, you know, splotches and things. So it's not, oh, come on, stay there. Not about blending the colours in. So I'm just trying to bring those in quite nicely like that. There we go, let's just blend that a little bit. But I mean, you'll see why in a minute. Just, so there we go. So we've got my three colours laid down. And then I'm going to just pop, I've just got some water, the easiest way to do it. And then I'm just going to drip a few bits of water. If I'd sprayed this straight on, I'd get a mist, but what I want is I want bubbles. There we go. Right, so get that on there. Now, I don't have kitchen towel around here today. I don't know where uh, the kitchen towel. Oh, I've got some. Oh, have you got some? I'm oh, coming that'd, over. That'd be good, because that would give it time to soak in, because sometimes the longer you leave it on the card, the better. You can see, look, can you see the reactions? Yeah. That looks really good. Hi. Hi. So then, all we're going to do is like a faux bleaching it's, effect. Um, I don't know, sort of corally. Yes. The effect you get can there. Can you see? Look at that. Yeah. Doesn't that look lovely? And bubbly. And again, the longer you leave it on, mm. the more it'll pop off. There we go. There we go. So you can see why you don't need to really blend it in. Because mm. you don't. You happy with that? Have, uh, I done it, have I done it satisfactorily? Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I stayed so long. No, I am. No, it's great. Fine. It's nice to see it close up sometimes. Yeah. Right. Now, that looks... I really like that. I do like that. But I actually have got one here. It looks slightly different, but it's dry. And that's... I'm just going to use that one. But I just want to show you how I did it. So, what I'm going to do now is I've got my white card, just regular... Um, um, what's the word? Multipurpose uh, multi card. Multipurpose. Multipurpose, yep. thank you. And I'm going to pop my dies onto here. There we go. And the foliage. Let's just grab all bits of the foliage out of there. We can put those on just like that. So, let's... Put the magnetic shim on nice and carefully so that they don't move. There we go. And then we can pop that one on. And while that's going through, I'm just going to get get these daubers out of the way so we don't end up inking up again. Uh, Mary just said, I love these colours together, Corinne. They always look amazing. Hoi hoi to fear. Hoi hoi. Hoi hoi. Uh, says, hoi hoi, everyone. Uh, dishwasher on, ready to relax. Oh. Um, and Adriana says, I love these colours. Yes, I think lots of thumbs up from the mixture of colours that you've got. You're always onto a winner with those three. You aren't are, you? aren't you? Never going to go too far wrong at all. It's amazing how often we do use them as a colour palette, yeah. isn't it? We were saying that just the other day that they just seem to be our go-to colour palette mm. all the time. So I've got my three daisies and then I've also got my foliage as well. So we can pop that out. I'm going to pop the foliage up at the top. Let's put those onto the mat as we go. Oh, Gwen's joined us. Have you done a show when Gwen um, joins us for a riddle? Which Gwen? Gwen Terry. She's the resident riddler. Oh, no. Um, she... Oh, yes, I did. I did one with it. Yes, yes, Okay, yes. she says, I'm feeling feisty today, and it's Ooh. Friday. Who's ready for a riddle? Always ready for a riddle, Ooh, Gwen. On, so uh, fire one our way, and uh, with the brain power that we've got in the studio this evening, we'll, 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 we'll fail it, miserably. We? <laughs> <laughs> no, right, sure, we'll be good. We'll be good. Thank no, you, No, we will do this. We will get this, I hope, after saying yeah. that, making a big thing of that. <laughs> right. Let's pop these down onto here, just getting rid of all the little bits. Poor Jake's going to have some super cleaning up to do tonight, hasn't he? We've made a right mess between us today. Yeah, I, I did you know keep what? trying I didn't, to hit the I didn't bin. vacuum up my bits here. I might have to do that after the show. OK, so now I've got these. I'm going to leave the foliage, but I'm going to take the three florals. And you could do this with a wet glue, but I'm actually going to do it with my... I thought I, thought I had a dotty tape pen. I've got two straight ones. No wonder I kept picking it up. And then I'm just going to come all over with my dotty tape pen just to put that on. And like we did with the cards yesterday, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in places where I capture as many colours. Now, can you see, we didn't sort of blend those um, patches together, but when you um, put your flowers over the top, it really, really works. So let's go there like that. 
and then this last one where we're going to put this last one let me decide oh should we go should we go like that catches no it's a bit uh, too much blue how about like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I like there, because I've got all the colours in then. Yeah. But then, you know, obviously you've got more cardstock left to put more on if you want to. And that's going to go where it said just here, didn't we? So we capture the whole rainbow there. And the great thing is, by doing it with the tape pen rather than wet glue, if that wet glue, it could start to affect the um, water reactive inks. So oh, I do okay. find that the, the wet glue is, uh, the tape pens are good. Right now, can you see when I'm cutting, my scissors are always at a 45 degree angle. Yeah. And that just means that I undercut. I'm just cutting just underneath that white card. And that means I'm going to get the, the neatest effect when I finish. So we can go around there, just like that, all the way around that's next on my list of things to master now i'm a, uh, a box, box making, making champion i need to learn to fussy cut uh better i also need to learn to make um i think i said this to you the other day different card styles as well it's too easy just to do a tentfold card i know but i do like a tentfold card easel mm. cards are good and yeah know, um but i I do often, if it, if it could, if the card style that I'm making could work tentfold or sidefold, I will probably make it tentfold. Because some won't work tentfold, but if, if it would work in both directions, I would probably go tentfold. Just because I find that I'm, I can be quite top heavy with my embellishments. And if you've got a side opening card and you've got a lot of weight on the front, it'll topple over. Whereas if you've got it as a tentfold card, yeah, and it's got a lot of um, embellishments on, it doesn't hurt. Right, I'm just I can see little bits of glue on there. I'm just cleaning it up, just to get those little bits of dirty glue off. That 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 looks ten times better. Ten times better. What were you using then to get that off? It's just a little rubber block. Just uh, like a, it's not a rubber. It's just a rubber block. But I always I always got it in my bag. I've got one on my desk and one in my bag. And um, it just gets rid of sticky stuff. Love this idea, Corinne. So pretty, says Dean. And we've got Gwen's riddle. This one's going to hurt oh, my God. head. It says, I was so happy. And is that, Gwen, is, is it, you spell, so H-A-P-P-E-E, -E, happy. I don't know <laughs> if that's relevant. I was so happy to be an odd number until you took a letter away from me. So now I'm even. Ooh. What number am I? Ooh, that's a good one. <sighs> Ooh. I'm so happy to be an odd number until you took a letter away from me, so now I'm even. What number am I? Ooh. Do you know it? No. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going, going, I'm going through my numbers in my head. I'm going through my numbers. You took one letter away from me, so now I'm even. It was an odd number, so don't, stop counting even numbers, Corinne. Um, three, five, six. I'm so happy, H-A-P-P-E-E, -E, to be an odd number until you took a letter away from me, so now I'm even. What number am I? Johnny, you got it, have you? He got that quick, didn't he? Is it anything to do with happy, no? Oh. And is it obvious? Is it just if you wrote the number down? How has Johnny got that so quickly? I know. Oh, I know what it is. I've got it. I've got <gasps> oh, it. Oh, I've got it. I've got it. Oh, I've got it. I've got it. It's nothing to do with happy. Got it. Yeah. So I think Johnny got it first. Who got it second? I think. It was a joint. It, it was Have you got it yet, Charlotte? Charlotte's got it. Ah. Uh, you've got to think of it the other way round. I was thinking of it of... Uh, I, was, uh, I, well, I, I won't tell you what I was thinking because I might give it away. This is the sort of question you get on that programme, the 1% Club. Oh, did you mention that before? No. Oh, someone else has mentioned that recently. It might have been Debbie Fisher. And that's... Yeah. Um, that's this sort of questions. Yeah, thinking completely outside. Yeah, they get 
basically they test them on a, a random sample of people yeah. and they get down to questions that only 1% of the... Oh, it's a bit like pointless then? I suppose it's a bit like pointless, but the questions get harder and harder. So the first question is like a, I don't know, a 75% question yeah. and 75% of the people they ask the question ah. to got it. Um, Sylvia's got this one right, apparently. Adriana's got it as well. Michelle's got it right. Uh, oh, Sherry's got it. Clever. Oh, very, very clever. You probably got it before us as well. Do you, do you want me to announce? I'll, I'll give you a couple more minutes and then we'll, we'll give our answer and see if okay. we're right. I'm sure we are. So let's have a look at this. So I've got my base card and what we've got is our spring fever card and paper. So I've already put this together just because I wanted to cut it. So what I've done is I've put my mats and layers on. I've put my blue and my paper and then I have cut the... the um, um, stitch and scalloped um, nesting dies. So what I've done is, once they're all together, I've cut through the whole lot to create the aperture. So you just lay them on and then cut them through. Just open it out and pass them through so it works really easily. And then I've got another pattern paper to go on the inside because we've got an aperture. Has that just run out? <laughs> Yep, so they keep there. going on you, don't they? No, it ran out. It just went, went to the end. It was a silver. No, that's what I mean. You seem to always just come to the end of them. I know, but I have been pretty heavy on them in the last mm. couple of days. We've done I, a lot of well, demos, used, haven't we? I used a lot today as well, didn't yeah. I? You passed me some of them. We do. Yeah, I don't have to use any tape pens tomorrow, do I? Oh, no, because you're this side. I'm that side. With Debbie. Yeah. Exactly. Right, so once we've got that, now I've got my flowers. You can see here what I've done, just to speed up a little bit, I've put little pearls in the centre of those, but you can see they're exactly the same, but they've just got um, some pearls behind there. So what we can then do is we can pop these through here, and I'm going to do these with my um, 3D glue. So we can pop that on here, and we're going to go, again, we're going to break that frame. You know how I love to go over the edges of my frame and really create something a little bit different. Make sure I know where I'm putting that. Very pretty. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Really. I really love this way that you create the flowers like you did yesterday. Yeah. Um, and super then idea. just pop in your foliage wherever you want it to go. Because I've used the um, 3D glue, hopefully it'll just catch in there. And if you need to, you can just pop in a little bit more glue, just creating a very simple sort of aperture around there just looks really really pretty let's put that one just down there and again just as we've done said all day you just put your um, foliage in after you've put your flowers on because then you can really position them in the right place and then all I've got then is while that's um, closed I'm going to pop a foam pad on the back oh got two there Foam pad on the back of my sentiment. Put that, and that's going to go, oops, the right way up even. Fab. Put that on there, and then I've got a lovely little bow, which we can then just lift off to here. I'm going to open up my card and pop that just there. So turn that round, and then how about... Oh, let's move the lid out there. There you go. Isn't that really, really pretty? Smashed it. Absolutely amazing. Uh, Superstar Susie just saying that would be a beautiful shaker card too. That's it. it. So many different things that you can do with these. Uh, Mary Reno saying the flowers look so pretty. Corinne, a really great way to um, maximise the use of these dies. Uh, Gilmore says the Queen of Flowers, Corinne, has now sold me on these floral dies. Get them, Gilmore. Get them. You absolutely love them. Um, may maybe when the uh, craft along comes along with these, it will be. Uh, um, us three on That'd the craft along. Can you imagine? Yeah. Gilmore, I'll, I'll craft along with you. Corinne will be leading it. Um, love the colour, says Roseanne. And uh, Thea says, I cannot wait to play with these flowers. Just to say as well, before we talk about the um, Gemini Junior, uh, what was the answer to the riddle? I think you all got it. Um, Johnny was the quickest here at uh, Crafters TV. I was so happy to be an odd number until you took a letter away from me, so now I'm even. What number am I? Seven. Because it's at seven. You take the S off. Yep. Even. So that's it. Gwen, I think that is the right answer. Thank you for the riddle. Always love those. Does 11 um, work as well? Huh? How do you spell 11? L E. No, E L. Oh, you take two off. Yeah, two off. Just asking. I never said I could spell. Oh, 
Um, thank you, Quinn. A lot of fun. US viewers, listen up. Listen up in the US. Uh, we've got a great deal for you on the Gemini Junior. So we did a 10% deal for you on the um, original Gemini here in the UK. Uh, we've got the Junior available for you in the US. So if you fancy picking this up, same saving, 10% off a uh, 200 dollar price tag brings it down to just under $180. Platinum members today, $143.96. Uh, uh, similarly, if you are um, shopping for the first time with us today, maybe you've just signed up to Club Inspire, um, that price on the screen that you're seeing right there is also yours. All you need to do is uh, go to our website, hit the Club Inspire uh, button and sign up for free and you can get this machine today for that price on screen. But whilst we get ready to I think, squeeze in one final demo and do some votes as well, because we've got to do the vote for the demo of the show and the demo of the day, uh, let's give you some more information um, about the Gemini Junior. Here is a video which will explain everything that you need. Welcome back to Crafters TV. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. One day, one day, somehow, we're going to link you up to the gallery so you can listen to some of the random stuff that they say and some of the stuff they say whilst I'm getting the countdown to come back out of a, a VT, as we call them, going four, three, then they'll say something and not expect me to, to laugh. Uh, wow, love those guys. Love those guys. Um, right, we're going to do a quick vote the demo of the show and then we're going to have a look at one final set for you on our masterclass all about um it's all about personalization really it's all about the alphabet um it's all about uh these amazing sentiment dies as well so uh, before we look at the uh, everyday word edibles let's have a look at corin's amazing makes she's been smashing it out of the park for the last two days what is going to be your favorite card of the show right now let's have a look so number one was the word cuttings so you can see there we did our just to say absolutely beautiful so pretty and fresh wasn't it in those lovely yellows so that's our just to say for the first one i think i've got these in the right order the next one was our um say it with style and also our floral foliage so you've got that one there that's two three was our left fold edgeable so we did the little box with mm. dad on so just something a little bit different there were some very different ones aren't there um four was our florals so that's really pretty i do like that one so i just love those flowers it's me it's flowers isn't it now i'm going to give you a sneak peek i've got it made ready oh, oh is it going I'm in is it this one in because this is going to be number five wow look at that <laughs> is that one card yeah that's unbelievable oh i see I, I couldn't quite see how that worked it's a wrap around on the bottom one yeah that's clever very yeah. clever five number five 
there's a horse in here. One, two, three, four, or five. Get voting. Uh, we're going to see that project in just a second. I'll whiz through these for you very quickly. It's a 40% saving on your everyday word edibles. If you want to go for the full collection, details coming up on your screen here. They are on a two for as well. Uh, two for £23 or $27. Um, and that's what this is all about. You know, giving you the ability to be able to create these amazing cards all in one pass. Uh, whether you are then doing um, a bit of paper piecing, um, paper piecing uh, you know, details back in, whether you're popping um, some different uh, cardstock behind these to change the colours of the sentiments, they all look amazing. Um, and the fact is that you get uh, that beautiful um, edge to these as well. I mean, if you want to actually just cut these out and layer these up um, as panels on your cards, of course you can do that. But the genius for me is the fact that you've got half of the sentiment um, over the uh, top edge of your card, which I just think looks amazing. And we've got sentiments for all occasions as well. Uh, the beautifully detailed from your happy birthday to, to your just for you, which is all about those uh, beautiful butterflies. You've got with all my love, again, loads of foliage and those beautiful roses in there too. Then you've got the Congrats, you did it. Uh, you're also going to receive on your special day, once again, with the beautiful florals poking through over the top of your project, and then you're going to get the special friend too. Uh, $37.41 or $43.06 if you're picking these up today. And as I say, you can go individually or get two for £23 or $27. Uh, whilst you're voting on your demo of the show, we're going to squeeze in uh, one last quick demo on these. Um, and you're going to show us how to make card number, number five. five. Yeah. Yeah. We say quick. I might have to jump to a few spots. I might just do the cutting and I've got some already cut um, inked up to show you. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my happy birthday. I've got my card blank. Let's actually start with my mat. Can we do it that way? There we go. That will go like that. So on the front of my card, because I've got it opened out, I'm just going to pop on my happy birthday. So I've got little notches there if I was doing it over the top of my card, but we can just work with these like this. So what we will then have to do is just snip down there to remove it from the card. So it's opened out and then we can pop that on there. So what we're doing is we're going to cut that through and I'll show you how to cut it. What you do is first time you do it, I've got time to do this first one. We've got time. We've got uh -huh. time. We've got loads of time. I'm panicking here unnecessarily. I You're think. all right. We've got 17 minutes. We've got 17 minutes. Loads of time. So this is now cut out of here. But before we take it out of the die, what I'm going to do, magnetic shim out, rubber mat in. Remember, you always swap one for the other. Then we can pop this into here. And that's going to run through now. So what that's now doing is it's pushing that cardstock right up into the die. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our ink. So I've got my green, I've got my blue, and I've also got my yellow as well. We're going to use those. And this is where we go in with our daubers, because they are the best way to do this. So if you take this, now you see I've taped onto the waist, so it doesn't matter that it course because I knew it would because of embossing and then we can oh don't lift it up Corinne oh I'm jumping ahead right while that's still in the card get my daubers I've got my tray of daubers here and find one that's suitable for yellow and let's go green first let's do the green that's the topaz green ink pad off and then we can come round here now I've got I want to protect that little bit so I'm just going to cover that up so I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to come in with the green. Now this is going to be cut off so it really doesn't matter that the green has gone onto there. And like I say if you really want to you can come you can just cover bits up um, just like we did before when we did it. Oh yeah. But you can really really get into all those nooks and crannies when you're doing this. There we go we can come down there look. So my happy is now a lovely green. That's about all the green I think I'm going to do on there. Then with the blue, let's find a nice blue dauber. I can then come in and do things like, let's cover up the top of there. So let's just do the cake and the candles and the base of the cake. Look at that, really lovely bright blue. And then we can come round here on the party hat and the little bits down here and the cake just down here there we go I think that was everything in the blue and then with the yellow we can then just go around the rest of them 
so we can come up here so we can do the stars and the bunting just there and then the bunting up here then we've got some lovely little stars just there there we are all those little stars now i am going to be careful because i really don't want it to go down there so i'm just going to cover that up because i know what i'm like I'm trying to go a bit fast and we end up with it everywhere so just through those there we go we've got a demo of the day winner a oh, demo okay. of the show winner show. i should say demo of the show um okay the, uh i was like it's number do you want me to tell you what it is you can do oh i will four four one two three four I'm coming flowers. over flowers that one that one that Thank is you. marvellous. It's Thank still you. quite wet glue on there. Oh. Yeah. Right, so can you see, this is cut away. So all I need to do is cut a little snip there. Yeah. And then I'm going to cut down that seam to... Let's put that in to there. And there we go. Look at that. Doesn't that look fantastic? Can you... Oh, sorry, let me bring it down a little bit. I'm working off there. Can you see how fantastic that looks now just to show you i've done exactly the same with my just for you uh -huh. so just exactly as we've done yep. on there yep okay do you want to do yeah the that, vote the vote um so demo of the day would you like to vote for number one which was uh corinne's box that she made a little bit earlier on with the uh curved sentiment dies that is um number one it's going to be tough. Number two is the amazing box uh, made for the craft along a little bit earlier. That's two. Or number three is the one that you have just voted for with the uh, brand new florals. So one, two or three, get voting. Um, thank you to Tracy who sent through a joke. I didn't ask for one, but this is good. Do you... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I didn't mean it like that. I didn't, no, I didn't mean it like that, but I, I'm saying I like the joke. Do you know why bees hum? Because they Good forgot girl. the words. Oh, I'm gonna, I thought it was good because they can't sing, but yeah. Um, and Gilmore says, Ben, we need, a, we need a dad joke. Sensational Sky is having a bad day and needs cheering up. Um, Who's having a bad day? Sensational Sky. Oh. I mean, that's quite a good joke. That's a good dad joke. That's a good dad joke. What do you call two octopuses that look exactly the same? I tentacle. Oh. <laughs> I tentacle. Can I just say it would be two octopi? <laughs> <laughs> you can have octopuses. Do you? Yeah, it's octopi. you can. I'm sure you can have octopi or octopuses. I'm sure you I can. I had a really good dad joke and I've forgotten it. Oh, I'll do it. I can't remember. I really, 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 I'm rubbish. I, somebody tells me a joke and by the time I've left the room, I've forgotten it. Um, what, really do you what do you call a magician? Who loses his magic? Ian. <laughs> yes! Ian! <laughs> God, God, I took magic out. away from magicians. Loses his magic, Ian. Oh dear. Charlotte still didn't get that. Ian. Like, How did you know his name was Ian? Johnny's writing that one down. <laughs> and you know, and you know my favourite one of all, like, of all time is um, I got stung by a bee the other day. Ten pound for a jar of honey. <laughs> and two monkeys in the bath. One turns to the other and goes, <laughs> and the other one goes, we'll put some cold water in then. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good night. <laughs> oh dear, right. I don't know if you've seen, but I've just put some car stock inside my cart. Oh dear. He was leaving. He was leaving. So I'm going to put that to one side and I'm going to get my just for you. Mm. And it's scored down the edges. So we did exactly the same as we did before. We just literally cut it out and we've just um, inked it through the um, through mm. the uh, die. That's the word. That's the die. Sorry, yep, die. And then I'm going to pop some Ooh. glue or tape even on the back of the little tabs. And this one is Johnny's writing down the jokes to take home. He might, he might, he likes that one. So there we go. So we can put this on. So this is slightly bigger than the width of my card. Can you see it's, it extends? I don't know if you can see it extends there. So all I'm going to do is put that up and then we have now got a lovely bow on the front. 
So that then can come on to the front of my card. So Amazing. this isn't as easy to put the tape on because it's a bird and I don't want to squash it. So I'm just doing it, just doing it like that. I really don't want to squash the bow front. There we go. There we are. There we go. You see, and then this, look at this. We don't need any fancy pearls. We don't need any ribbons or anything like that because that's just going to sit on the front of my card. So happy birthday just for you. Let me make the butterflies stand out. How about like that? Isn't that amazing? I, I absolutely love it. And I kind of feel that if that had been a demo earlier in the show, that might have won. That might have won. Yeah. Mm, yeah. But what, what I love most about that is the fact that, you know, you, again, you always think because the dies are so detailed, you can only use one per project. Yep. That is a great way of showing you uh, just how you can combine them. I'll very quickly show you the, um, the boards again for these, um, and then I'll announce the winner of the demo of the day, uh, because we do uh, almost have a result come through. Um, it's a good saving on these today, actually, 40% um, that you're getting off the price for the full bundle, uh, £23 or $27 if you want to go for just a couple of these, uh, you are more than welcome to, or if you just want to buy individually, you can, but the best value for money, as always, is in the bundle. Beautifully detailed, beautifully designed, and again, loads and loads of great ideas for you there. Um, I think you did, when did you do the other demo on these? Would have been this morning, wouldn't it? You did another Yes. wake up call yeah we did oh this one with all my love that was the chappy there we go. right there you can see that there it is so um if you there want to go back and see that one with all my love uh wake up call this morning so you can it's see how i did like that one that together you're also going to get uh congrats you did it on your special day uh and then lastly you've got a special friend 3741 or 4306. Gilmore says, Ben, is Johnny writing down all your dad jokes so he I can is. finally have a book of them? I, no, well, I, 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 well, I've written a book, a couple of little books, which I just read to the kids and didn't get published, but they weren't dad jokes. But maybe I should do that, put together a book of dad jokes. You and I, Johnny, maybe sit down, put that together. And we'll, well, Gilmore definitely wants one, so we've got one buyer. There's one buyer. It won't um, be in vain then. Huh? It won't be totally in vain then, will it? No, it won't be, you know, especially for Gilmore as well. And Char Charlotte says she's going to illustrate it as well. <gasps> and you know how good Charlotte is with her illustrations. I Will you illustrate know. my kids' books as well? I, oh, didn't okay. know she I didn't know Charlotte was an illustrator. Oh, never seen her artwork? I haven't, no. Charlotte's decent. She's very... Decent? No, very, very good. I may say decent, like okay. decent. Um, no, you are good. She's doing herself down. I'll show you, um, she, she drew a picture of my dog. It's uh, now on the wall in the kitchen. It's so good. Oh, how lovely. Yeah, yeah. She could she draw your um, pets. Oh, she says, don't, don't start that again. Okay. We had too much to do. She's too busy. Oh, too busy. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, we're going to write a book about dad, dad jokes. Yeah, we'll sell it, sell it at Christmas time. Oh, and you'll illustrate my kid's book. Oh, Mary's going to buy 11 copies. We'll, we'll get it, we'll sort it tomorrow. We'll start some jokes, write them down. Uh, personally sign them all, guys, yep. Yeah. Brilliant, here we go, here we go. Uh, right, what is the winner of the demo of the day, though? I hear you cry. What do you reckon, Corinne? <sighs> do you want me to narrow it down for you? Go on. Oh, one. One? Mm-hmm. Oh, Craft Along. Craft Along's done it. Brilliant. I do put a lot of time into getting you those did. ready. I do yeah. enjoy getting those ready. Yeah, um, absolutely. Uh, fully deserved that one. Um, <laughs> signed copy, Ben, says Gilmore. Yes, great idea, says Tracy. Uh, I'll buy 11 copies, Ben. Right, Johnny, we know what you and I are doing tomorrow. 100% uh, writing the dad joke book. Uh, be available in all bad bookstores this week. Christmas. Um, I am here with you tomorrow, but for the HSM preview show, which starts at six, one o'clock Eastern. Who I hear you cry is taking care of the rest of the day. Well, well I'll, I'll leave Corinne to tell you. Yes, it's me and Debbie Robinson. So I'll be where Ben is, and Debbie will be here. So it's we've got um, play crossroads, and I don't know what it is. I'm a bit twitchy. Anagrams. Oh, I'm... by the way, can I just take you off here, Debbie? 
is very competitive and she'll I lull you into a false sense of security. She's done this to me before, where she'll go like, he, no, oh, I don't know this one, oh, he, oh, and then all of a sudden she comes out with the right answer right. and you get, you get beat. So don't fall for any of that. Okay. You're pre-warned. She's... Okay. Okay, so yeah. then we're doing a masterclass of masculine projects, which is when we were saying, when we were starting doing this, we were talking about that, weren't we? Mm. So yeah, all those masculine projects ready for Father's Day, which I think yeah. is perfect timing. Oh, yes, and there'll be a cheeky code for you tomorrow as well, yeah. uh, which we'll be announcing here, I oh, believe. Oh, right, okay, I'll um, be announcing that then. Yeah, and of course you have the weekend um, Super Saver bags, which are always uh, amazing value for money. What a day. Can I say a massive thank you to everybody as per usual? We've um, had a good laugh today, haven't we? Huh? We've had a good laugh today. We have had a good laugh. We've, I think we've had fun. We've been creative. We have. Um, we, we, we've, I think, hopefully been many things for you today. But massive thank you to uh, Corin. Thank you to Jake. Thank you to Johnny, thank you to Charlotte, thank you to John, thank you to Superstar Susie on the socials. Who else has been on? Terrific Taylor. Uh, who was on earlier on? Uh, oh, yes, Cool Cat Caitlin was on as well. Thank you, everybody. Um, and we'll do it all over again tomorrow. Make sure you join um, Corinne and Debbie uh, from 11, 6 a.m. Eastern for uh, Play Your Crafts Right. And I will see you tomorrow evening for our HSM preview show. Until then, enjoy the rest of your Friday. Bye for now.